over there is where you can get your towel if you're staying at the hotel. And you can sit at any of these white benches for free. And they have a pool over there, and a pool here, and a slide for the kids. And then they have these beds that you can run out, and they have these canopy looking ones. And you walk down this path, and it leads out to the beach, right there. And you go around the corner, and you wash your feet right here. And you go down towards the beach. And the red umbrellas you can run out as well. And you pick any spot you want. And then I normally like to pick a spot over here next to the umbrellas. Kind of like what everybody's doing over here in this corner. My spot, it's nice and sunny. And it looks out onto this view. You can see all the surfers out there, it's crazy. I'd love to learn how to surf. Got some snorkelers, it's awesome. Guys, it's only 8.51 in the morning and the sun's already out. So I'm trying to get the island behind me. I'm laying out. Well, fun. So, you guys might be wondering why I'm in Hawaii alone. Ilana couldn't make it because she had to work and her boss was going to fire her if she went. And also this plan seemed kind of sketchy. Carlos couldn't make it because he also had to work. Originally, the trip was supposed to be Ilona, Carlos, and I. And we were supposed to go visit the house that Carlos and I bought. The realtor was supposed to pick us up from the hotel and we were supposed to stay there for 10 days. Carlos said that he couldn't go first. So then it was just Nilona and I and then she seemed kind of sketched out that this guy was supposed to pick us up. And we are supposed to also fly to the main island, like the big island, because that's where our house is. Also, the tickets were fucked up. We were supposed to stay for 10 days. Originally, it was like the 18th to the 28th. And then our ticket said the 19th to the 26th, we're like, why are the tickets wrong? And Carlos was like, my boss messed it up. So then Ilona was sketched out by that. So she backed out. Also, she couldn't leave because she would be fired from her job. And so that left me. I only had like $400. And then my credit card wasn't working. So for the first night when I landed, I stayed at the Pacifica Inn Hotel. That was $225. Even though online it said it was $120. I'm not sure why they charged me more. So that left me with $200. I was gonna stay at this beach at a hotel for like $75. But my dad ended up paying for the really nice hotel and paid for breakfast, I hope. He said that he paid for breakfast. So when I check out today, I shouldn't have to pay anything. They said today for the second day that it looks like my dad didn't pay for breakfast and I bought like a $42 steak that ended up coming out to like $50 and right now I only have like $73 in my bank account. So the Uber is only like $23. So if I pay for today's meal, that's fine. If I have to pay for yesterday's meal, that was $31. I'm gonna be fucked if I have to pay for both. My flight leaves at 5.50, so I need to be there at three o'clock. And that's why I'm stranded in Hawaii alone. Thanks to my daddy paid for everything. I'll pay him back this Wednesday when I get paid. It was just annoying that my credit card wasn't working like half the time. They're doing Zumba. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, here's a trash can. Found some lit on the beach. So you throw away any trash you see. They have a rum fire restaurant right here. And here's one of the pools. There's another pool over here. Look at that. So fun. Okay, right here. If you take this pathway from the pools, there's a pond over here. I'll show you. Here's the koi pond. We have baby ducks today. So cute. Over here you have seating lounges. Sit anywhere in the lobby if you want. These you have to have a reservation for. And they have some straps. Oh, this is my favorite statue. Let me show you. It's a stick and poke tattoo and it's all made out of sand. How cool is that? And then when you go past this memorial over here, past these shops, you're gonna hit the elevator. Here's one of the gift shops. We have like a hat store here. And then here's the elevator room. This is also an entrance to one of the restaurants called Renfire. Look how many elevators there is. How fun. And then I hit this button. And I'll take you up to your room. Select what floor. It's like music. How fun.
Oh, Here are the passes. And it's just a touch. So let's do a room tour. So over here we have the ice bucket, coffee and tea machine, a mini fridge, an ironing board, a full length mirror, a mini closet. And then over here we have the bathroom. Here's a shower. And then they have one of those Japanese toilets. It took me 20 minutes to figure out how to use them. And they have a remote right here. And then here's your bathroom light. I guess I can take off my mask. Whew, I look terrible. I just came back from the beach. And then they did have shampoos and conditioners up here, but I already used them. And they're also in my luggage because I'm going to take them with me. And then here's my luggage. <laughs> it's a mess. And then over here they have a vanity and a chair where you can sit and do your work. I kept getting scared by this guy because when I first came in I checked in and I put my uh, phones here to charge. And every time I looked up, I saw this thing. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Hawaii. Hey, it's your girl Shorty and welcome back to my channel from Hawaii. And then they have a TV here, some drawers, a chair, a lamp. And then here's the bed. They have um, outlets on each side and a wall outlet right here. And it leads out to your balcony. I'm on the 24th floor. But you have a little lounge chair, another chair. This is your view. It's wonderful. Look at that. And the sun sets right, right there. And then over here, we see more mountains. Amazing. And then this is the drop. I'm scared. <laughs> And this is one of the main streets, I think. Or not. That's the room tour. I'll give you a tour of the hotel more downstairs when I'm leaving. Right now I have to shower. I have to leave in like an hour. Also, I'm staying at the Sheraton Waikiki. I highly recommend it. It is $400 a night. And I think it's worth it. Let's do a haul of everything that I bought yesterday. First thing I picked up, I'm pretty sure I accidentally stole this. It was at one of those like newspaper stands that are like at every traffic light, but like no one's ever standing next to it. So I'm pretty sure that they're free. But then down here it says that they're $6. So I'm gonna use this as a coffee table book. It's, um, Modern Luxury Hawaii. And it's July and August edition. So my parents requested Hawaii macadamia nuts. So I got two of those. Honestly, the big bag was too expensive. Sorry, I don't have much money. So <laughs> I bought the single ones that were like a dollar twenty each. And then for my dad as well, I went to the U.S. Army Museum of Hawaii and I just got this postcard of all these soldiers on the tank. And then for Ilona and I, I got us matching postcards. And there's like glitter on them. I don't know if you can see that. It's like glitter, it's so cute. Also bought for myself a coconut bracelet that says Aloha on it, how cute. And then for Los, I bought him this really dope necklace that I'm definitely gonna rob him from a couple days a week. A shark tooth necklace and it's black and it has these like beading right here. I don't know if you can see that amazing yeah that's my haul from hawaii i'm all packed up so we're gonna go check out and fingers crossed i don't have to pay for the breakfast that my dad said he paid for and then i'm gonna see if they can hold my bags and get a shuttle for later today because i don't have to be at the airport until three so let's do it okay update um i did the express checkout where you just put your uh information on this card and you put your like bracelet into a box and they'll just charge whatever card is on file so I don't know which one it is, so we'll find out. They also have my email if they have any issues. I'm gonna hit up the beach one more time. I put my bags at bill service and my ticket right here, so I can pick it up later. Uh, he said the shuttles are not free and you have to do them within 24 hours of leaving. Since they didn't charge my cart, I'm just gonna take an Uber. But yeah, it should be okay. Hi, I'm at the beach. I realized I broke a nail. So that's great. Don't know when that happened. Probably when I was trying to give my bags to the bell service guy. I need to get my nails done anyway before I go back to work because they said that they're too long. So it's fine. And my friend sent me $30 just in case I need it. It's just nice and sweet of him. So thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate it. But yeah, look at, look at the beach. There's so many people there. And it's like cloudy, which is nice. I don't know if I should go swimming or not because like I'm about to go to the airport and I don't really want to smell like the beach. So maybe I'll just put my feet in. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So this is the front of the hotel where they have these turtles and then over there they have more shops. <laughs> Look, they have a little flea market going on in the center of town. How cute.
made it to the airport.